Hi Taurus, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel, welcome back. If you've been here before, thank you so much for joining me or joining me again. I hope you all are doing amazing. Let's go ahead and pull some cards for you. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Flip the rose if you need to. Could be past person, future energy or someone else around you I'm picking up on. We are going to do love, health, and money today, okay? And this reading is going to be really nice. Probably going to be about close to a half hour long. Really get detail and see what's coming in for you, so... Y'all stick around and let's get into it. When it comes to your love life, what's happening in Taurus's love life spirit? What's happening in my Taurus collective's love life? What's going on for me and my fellow Taurians when it comes to love? You have legends. Learn from those who inspire you. Okay. All right. When it comes to your health. Whether that be emotional, physical, or mental. We have seven heavenly virtues. What is this? The keys to goodness. I like it. <laughs> okay, when it comes to your career, your finances, your business, your job, whatever you do to make your money, what is your message here? We have gratitude. Be grateful for all you have. So Spirit wants you to be grateful. Some of you have a lot to be grateful for. Your overall energy, we're not really going to unpack this card, but just if you want to know, you have Archangel Gabriel. And this is all about the messenger of creativity and hope. So you're being encouraged to be creative, express yourself creatively, and remain hopeful. I love it. Some of you could work with children. I'm noticing that the angel, um, they have Gabriel as a feminine energy. Maybe all these cards are feminine, I think. Yeah, they're all feminine. But yeah, so some of you could work with children. You could have a knack for like really helping children. That could be a passion of yours. You could also have a lot of children. Maybe you just have a mother or a father and you have a lot of children here. So let's get into this. So when it comes to your love life, we have learned from those who inspire you. I really feel like you are attracting or you are with someone. If you're not with someone or the person that you're with, don't fit this description. This might be somebody new coming in who you really are going to learn from. This is somebody that's being put on your path to help you grow and elevate spiritually. This person is going to be an inspiration to you. I feel like it's going to be reciprocal. I want to tell y'all, your person might be slightly shorter than you. I don't know why I need to say that, but I need to say that. Um, but they're very wise, whoever this person is. And they really make you want to get up and go. They're very romantic too. This person is like going to want to take you out. For some reason, I'm seeing them take you out... Um, like for picnics and things like that. This is somebody who's like really into like the details, okay? I feel like this person is about to set the bar so high that nobody you've ever been with compares or this is somebody you're already dealing with who's doing this. Okay, so let's see. What is this when it comes to your love life? We have half-hearted true self coming out. Okay, so that's interesting. That's an interesting... Um, you could be dealing with um, a Libra, Aquarius, a Gemini, a Pisces. Who else would I say I'm getting from this? Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. So an air sign or a Pisces person could be coming through here. Interesting. I feel like there's somebody here who, um, if this is somebody you're already connected to, or maybe when you first meet them, they're not going to really show you how much they feel for you, but their true self is going to start coming out. I feel like this person kind of downplays their feelings until they get to know you, and then they show you more of who they are. We'll, we'll unpack that. What's going on with the seven heavenly virtues? All right, I did look these up last night, and I don't remember any of them. <laughs> I know, you know, like patience is a virtue. I think patience was there. There was a lot about, you know, just really like high vibrational energy. But we can um, look at the seven heavenly virtues and see why you are pulling this for your health. And that's being clarified by shedding. Wow. Scorpio energy showing up here. Whenever I see a snake or butterfly, I say a Scorpio energy because Scorpio is all about death and rebirth, shedding old skin. So you are reducing losses, elimination, and completing a new metamorphosis. Time to set higher goals. See, I'm telling you, there's somebody coming into your life who really inspires you, who's going to make you feel like, how could I ever settle for less than what I already had? I mean, I'm not, what am I saying? Why did I settle for less than what I deserve? For some of you, um, this is emotional health. But let's take a look at the seven heavenly virtues. Okay, so let's read about them. So, formally enumerated by Pope Gregory the First in the 6th century and elaborated in the 13th century by St. Thomas 
Aquinas, they are humility, clarity, chastity, gratitude. You got gratitude showing up here twice. Temperance, patience, and diligence. Okay. That's not what I read yesterday. Okay, so faith is the foundation of all of the other virtues. Justice is... Uh, did they say justice before? They didn't say justice before, but they have justice now. Traditionally, the virtue of, ju of justice is depicted as a blindfolded woman holding equally balanced scales, which is Libra energy. Then we have prudence, which is common sense. You know, your good common sense. And we have hope, temperance, fortitude, and clarity. Love is also listed as a um, heavenly virtue. Actually, it says that this is the most powerful heavenly virtue. So this, again, is all about high, high vibrational energy. So some of you, you're releasing something here. It could be your lower self. You could be going through a transformation. You could be transmuting a lot, a lot of negative energy when it comes to your emotional, even your physical health. For some of you, you're working out more. You're taking better care of yourself. You're learning to be more patient, more fair, more balanced, more honest, more humble. I love it. Okay, so when it comes to your uh, money, gratitude. So this could be a blessing coming in or oh, gratitude. Y'all know gratitude is the greatest magnet, magnet on the planet outside of love. Put them together and what do you get, right? Everything. We have a helping hand when it comes to your finances. You may need others to assist you with services and increase your product productivity. If you have a business or something, no one can handle it alone. So I'm hearing spirits say, Taurus, even though you are very multifaceted, talented, capable, able, it's okay to ask for help. And this is so funny because Taurus, your cards in the tarot do represent helping hand. The five and the six of pentacles are all about accepting and asking for help being um, offered to you or giving and assisting other people with support. So some of you, you're going to have to rely on your support system when it comes to um, your money. So maybe you need to hire people if you have your own business to take up some of like the little busy work that keeps you preoccupied and keeps you from doing what you could be being productive in. This increases your productivity. Others of you, if you need assistance, ask for it. Don't be too proud and just be grateful that it's there for you. Others of you, maybe you're giving support. Maybe you are the helping hand, okay, to other people around you. It's fair to say and be grateful for all you have because the Six of Pentacles, which is Taurus energy, is all about you paying it forward. It's all about you donating. It's all about you being philanthropic, yeah, and charitable. So, you know, maybe you want to go through your closet and purge some things that you know you'll never wear again. Pay it forward to a less fortunate family or person. Bottom of the deck, we have loyalty with Archangel Gabriel. Messenger of creativity and hope. True friendship and loyalty are among the most important values. Be loyal to your friends. I ain't got to tell y'all that. Y'all know we loyal. Sometimes to a fault. Okay, so let's get into this love life because i want to see this person somebody here possibly has not been showing you how much they love you or when they come along they're not but their true feelings are going to come out okay because i would normally read this as somebody pretending to care like with half-hearted true self coming out like you discovering that this person is a person with two faces and they could be like i said um that's definitely air sign energy but i also pick up pisces from that uh yeah so let's see what this is all about because that this could be two different people Okay, so we have everything is fine in reverse, so everything is not fine. And I feel like this is somebody around you, could be a Gemini person who pretends like they got it going on, but they really are looking for a breakthrough, especially mentally. Like this person, they keep themselves very imprisoned in fear and doubt and paranoia. And maybe they've been betrayed so much that they don't know how to let other people in. And all you want to do is love them, okay, when you first meet or when you first met. Or this could be something going on right now, a cycle in a relationship, because why is everything fine in reverse? So what is this? I feel like also your person pretends that they are they're good. They wear a brave face. The four of wands. For some of you, this is a twin flame. You could be seeing 1111, okay? They could live in your community. This, this could be an Aries person or you could be on the Aries Taurus cusp or you have Aries in your chart or they do. Hmm. So something significant maybe over the past 10 weeks that 10 weeks that has happened here because this is like the 10 of swords even though they don't have it listed as that that's exactly what it is um going into the four of wands so for some of you somebody really feels like they belong with you they really feel like you are meant for them they feel at home with you they feel like you just get them there's just this easygoing energy of this is where i belong but they really do struggle with letting you in 
Yeah, this person lives in their head. I mean, look how she's in her own head. Yeah. And the heart is there. You see the hearts all around the head, right? It's like this person is in two minds. They're like, this is like the level-headed intellectual part of them, the logical part of them. And then there's this part with the emotions. But they really do struggle because they're both of their heads are in the logical side of things. So that's why I say this could be an air sign. What else? So we have the nine of pentacles. We have the seven of swords, trust issues. Oh my God, you got nothing but Gemini, Virgo, and Aquarius showing up here. So you got the magician, you got the seven of swords, and you got the nine of pentacles. Your person is so afraid to give up the single life. They're so afraid of like, what if I drop the ball? What if I do not make a sound investment? Or what if you invest in me and it's not a sound investment? What if I disappoint you? This person has a fear of disappointing you. You know, I'm starting to change my mind on this Legends card. When I said that this person could be shorter than you, they could be. But that, I could have picked that up because this person feels small. Because this is a person with trust issues. This is a person who might be even ashamed of something they've done to you. Or for some of you, they need to leave another relationship to be with you. Or there's something but that they need to leave behind and they're being sneaky. Maybe they're sneaking around seeing you like they're single, but they're really not. Okay, they could be nine years older than you or something could be significant about nine years. Um, I am going to go through some dates here just because I want to um, do this. When it comes to your love life, these dates could be significant. They don't have to be. April the 11th through the 20th could be significant for some of you. Then we have June the 11th through the 21st could be significant for you. When it comes to the Nine of Pentacles, September the 2nd through September the 11th could be significant. And when it comes to the Seven of Swords, this could be February the 9th through the 18th. So, you know, these signs, again, Virgo, Aquarius, Gemini, Aries could be significant. I would also say Libra. Um, but these dates could be meaningful as well. This could be when something starts to change here. Because somebody is manifesting you. And maybe you feel it. Okay, maybe you really do feel it. And you're like, what is going on? Why can't I get this person off my mind? This equates to 88 days, something manifesting between you and this person in the next 88 days. Now, I don't know when that is, y'all, because I ain't about to count, but y'all can do this on your own time. 88 days from now, something is manifesting. This could be them taking action towards you because this is all about being proactive and going for what you want. It's a green light. And they are definitely thinking about you and how they can make their thoughts a reality with you. Okay, they're brainstorming something. They're trying to come up with some kind of master plan. They're preparing for something. Okay, it says the truth. True self will be coming out and for some of you they will be expressing a desire for you maybe even just physically i don't know leo aries sagittarius energy but yeah this person is like seeing you as someone who satisfies all their needs okay you fulfill them in every possible way you check all the boxes so what i was going to say when i said i changed my mind it says legends learn from those who inspire you you inspired this person it's not the other way around you inspire them. You're healing this person. You're helping this person to come out of this weird energy that they've been in of not being able to open up because they feel so at home with you. And they keep convincing themselves that something is wrong and you're going to hurt them or whatever, but they're going to start to see crystal clear if they have not already. So what is going on here when it comes to your mental health or your physical health with shedding? I see some of you losing weight, if that's something you're interested in. I see some of you going on a fitness journey because I, I don't want to assume. Not everybody wants to lose weight. So what are you shedding? But when I see the word shedding, I think losing weight. That's why I said that. I'm not fixated on people losing weight. However you choose to show up in the world, that is your business. That ain't for me to police. Okay. Shedding is showing up as the chariot. Mm-hmm. I see you being more physically active here. When I see the chariot, something is balancing out. Masculine, feminine energy. It's like you're on one accord when it comes to your subconscious mind. And your conscious mind. This is masculine and feminine energy. Okay, you're moving forward. Oh my God, the emperor. Oh my God, moving forward. You get the six of swords. Yes, Aquarius energy. Wow. You are leveling up. You're bossing up on somebody. You got some kind of um, elevation here. It's coming in quickly too. Like you're quickly releasing somebody and manning up or womaning up here. You're moving away from a trauma bond. Your spirit guides are showing up here. You're making executive decisions and you're doing it quickly. So you can have cancer, um, Aries or Aquarius in your chart. Or it could be a person that you are dealing with. Now you get the Ten of Swords, which is the same card 
everything is fine showing up again gemini energy for some of you there's a painful ending that you have just had to push through you have had to push through and the thing about it is taurus it actually was a blessing in disguise because somebody here is deceptive this is betrayal energy backstabbing energy this is the energy and it could be the same person maybe this is why they're they're trying to get it together now and they feel embarrassed by something that they did to you but this is you setting higher goals and this is definitely a promotion a raise working in a male dominated industry okay being a shot caller being a boss okay maybe starting your own business some of you work in transportation um, some of you are going on a cruise or you're getting away on a vacation or something here. You're traveling more like your focus is on you. Whoever this person is that betrays you, spirit says confirmation. Yeah, your focus is on you. Whoever this is that hurts you, you got, you've got like a mind over matter attitude here. Yeah, this wasn't a loss. It says reducing loss, losses, elimination and completing a new metamorphosis. So look, this painful ending is leading you. It's a catalyst for you to grow. It's as simple as that. So, I mean, I don't know if y'all want me to keep reading all these dates, but <laughs> even though I already did the Ten of Swords, which is June 11th through the 21st, the Six of Swords is January 30th through February the 8th. So, I guess I would say some kind of possible possible travel, a big move at the beginning of the year. For some of you, that doesn't have to be the case. We have Cancer season showing up here, which is where we are. Some of you are going through this right now because this is the fastest card in the tarot deck and it's a right now energy. All the... the um. Major arcana are right now, significant messages. When it comes to the emperor, this is Aries season. So that could be sometime next year. If it didn't happen this year, maybe you got a promotion in, in um, March or April of this year. If not, it may be next year. Okay. So let's see. It could be a whole new job or starting your own business as well. When it comes to your money, we have be grateful for all you have and helping hand. What is that all about? Again, this is like six of pentacles, five of pentacles energy. Wouldn't shock me if they come out. So we have the four of cups. Cancer energy. Four, <clears throat> four months could be significant. Four of cups is also July the 12th through the 22nd, which is we're still working within that time frame now. So something could be going on right now between um the 12th through the what did i say the 22nd yeah we got the devil oh capricorn energy mm. what is that all about <clears throat> and that is the end of the year that's december 22nd through the 19th capricorn season hmm We got the nine of cups. So I am seeing you be very grateful, contented, satisfied, some kind of wish fulfillment. Maybe over the next nine months. For some of you, this could be even a pregnancy showing up here, something that you're grateful for. Nine of cups is March the 1st through the 10th. So when I tell y'all these dates again, they could be significant. They don't have to be, but I'm telling y'all, just because I like to I like to do my readings different than everybody, and I don't hear people talking about dates. Then we have the empress. I said you could be getting pregnant. Somebody's either pregnant or going to be pregnant with ideas and giving birth to some kind of manifestation here. This is big. This is divine feminine energy and you cannot make it up. Look what you got on the table, your counterpart. Wow. For some of you, you are quickly moving into a relationship with a very stable person who wants a traditional relationship. Could be an Aries, doesn't have to be. But Taurus, this is you. This is nice. So... Whatever you are praying for, your gratitude brings it in quickly. Be grateful for all that you have. And it looks like you have a lot or you will have a lot. Odd thing is you do have the four of cups and the devil here. And I just have to read this as your energy. But if you need to say it to somebody else around you, that's fine too. Look, you got temperance, one of the seven heavenly virtues. Sagittarius energy, you're an earth angel. And you're very balanced between your masculine and and feminine energy both of these cards represent the balance of both okay this is a genderless card it's an asexual card so there's something very balanced about your energy right now very balanced and you have archangel michael i'm mean, sorry gabriel look how similar these cards look as your overall energy oh my god so much spiritual protection around you peace and calm is being restored to your life you're going to start to realize why something didn't work out because this is all about finding meaning in what has happened to you 
Okay, because the temperance comes after the death card. And I told you here, this is giving me the death card. So after an ending, something is going to start to make sense and you're going to have peace about it. You're going to make your peace with it and you're going to move on. You're going to stand on your feet again. This is about getting back on your feet. I love it. I love that those cards look so similar. Wow. But let's get to this. With this helping hand and gratitude. The Four of Cups actually talks about being ungrateful. <laughs> talks about being self-absorbed as does the devil which is all about the ego you're going through an ego death something here maybe over the last four months doesn't have to be the last four months but possibly could involve a cancer could involve a capricorn doesn't have to but like i said maybe capricorn season is significant or july the 12th through the 22nd could be significant okay this is you really just like meditating and really detaching from some things that you felt bound to. For some of you, it is a relationship. It is a situationship. It is a something here. Um, and your person is either going to level up. They're going to man up. They're going to take accountability. And they're going to fix themselves. Because um, this could also be them. Or they're going to lose you to someone else who deserves you. Or this is just someone totally new coming in. And you're already over a past person. Okay. But I see you being very bored with something that was toxic. Yeah, I, I feel you rejecting something that's been toxic and really being grateful here. Some of you could be like rebuilding your lives, starting over. Let's just say you are a, um, <clears throat> that you are a, um, I don't know what I was about to say, y'all. Jesus Christ, I'm going to lose my, my train of thought. I don't know what I was about to say because I got distracted when the card fell. Because I was going to say, with the Empress and the Nine of Cups, this is all about pleasure and, and um, sensuality. And this is even like a sex card here, okay? And both of these represent pregnancy. So I feel like some of you could really be giving birth to projects. I don't think it's literal pregnancy, but for some of you, it could be if that's what you're trying to manifest. But I really do feel like something here that's been toxic in the past. Um, oh, I know what I was going to say. If you found yourself like living with someone and maybe you were financially dependent on them, maybe there's family here that's going to open their doors for you to let you in. Because something here no longer interests you when it comes to this devil. Somebody with addictions, toxicity, a big ego. And I don't know why the devil comes out in your reading every single time I do a reading for you. But there's something toxic that's been holding you hostage. But you're no longer interested in it. And, and, and I love that. But again, this could also be being ungrateful as is this. Like being very inconsiderate. So Spirit wants you to be more grateful to magnetize the things you want because both of these are about manifestation prosperity abundance a wish being fulfilled and definitely self like being content within yourself not needing anyone else okay now what we're going to do i'm going to move all these cards and we're going to get into the meanings as your advice because i want to read these as advice for you when it comes to your money no what are we starting with your love life jesus I'm saying wrong stuff. I need to go back to sleep. <laughs> okay, so when it comes to legends for your love life, and the page is nine, so the number nine could be significant. It says here, you have the opportunity to rise to great heights. Listen, learn, and gain insights from those whose path you wish to follow. Gather information and do some research into your legend. It's in quotations. Learn what is best for you right now to follow your dreams. Oh, I can't see you. Folk tales describe how the main personality in a legend copes with the events of everyday life. Deep within the tales is a lesson to pass on to you. The story may be of miracles, spiritual courage, and even fairy tales. True legends such as Joan of Arc or Nelson Mandela courageously took on battles to overcome obstacles and persevere to meet triumph and victory. Well, that's cancer energy. Your mantra is, I gather inspiration, strength, and inspiration from true legends. So for some of you, the way that you really can get the relationship you want is to model it after a relationship that maybe you idolized. You know, whether it, it was all that it was cracked up to be or not, doesn't matter. The way you saw it. You know, you know what you thought was happiness for you when you started entertaining the thought of being in a relationship. What did that look like? Does that the partner in your life reflect that those thoughts, those aspirations? If not, that may not be the person for you because this is all about you getting what you want that inspires you. And I'm telling you, a person could be a little bit shorter than you. I do not know why I'm saying that, but I feel like they are slightly shorter than you or they might be neck and neck with you. But if you're feminine and you put on some heels, forget about it. <laughs> OK, so when it comes to your health we have shedding with the seven heavenly virtues so 
the seven heavenly virtues are the keys to goodness. You represent spiritual enlightenment, divine knowledge, and wisdom. You have faith and believe in all that is good and meaningful. You have a deep intuitive understanding of God, the angels, and the universal spirit. You know the keys to goodness. You are being asked to use this knowledge to empower and teach others. I told you some of you could work with children. So what seven, have, what seven heavenly virtues mean? Faith, belief, and trust in the right things. Hope, belief that good will prevail. Charity, unlimited loving kindness towards others. Fortitude, never giving up. Justice, being fair and equitable, equitable towards others. Patience, accepting the grace to forgive. And temperance, practicing self-control and moderation. So this is what Spirit wants you to focus on when it comes to your health. Oh boy, my eyes are itchy, y'all. Sorry. Okay, so when it comes to gratitude for your money. Gratitude, gratitude. Okay, so we have be grateful for all you have. Gratitude helps you live in peace, love, and joy. Being grateful for the abundance you have received is the best insurance that more good things will continue to come. So this is the law of attraction, y'all. Grateful people are happier, less stressed, and are more satisfied with their lives. Satisfied, content. Mm -hmm. Um, learn to create abundance in all areas of your life. I told you you're creating abundance. I told you that's exactly what you're doing. Your cards are reflecting what the cards are saying. Insane. Okay, so learn. Where was I? <clears throat> learn to create abundance in, in all areas of your life. First, you have to ask what it is that you would like to receive or change in your life. Believe it is possible. Then let it happen. Be ready to receive. She's in receptive mode. Receptive mode. Give thanks to God, the angels, and the universe. Gratitude is a powerful process of shifting your energy and bringing more of what you want into your life. I told you, it truly is. It's a magnet. Your mantra is, I am grateful for life's gifts of peace, love, and joy. Y'all can type that below. I am grateful for life's gifts of peace, love, and joy. I think I might have said that wrong the first time. But those are your messages, Taurus. This is a really nice reading. Just stay true to yourself. Stay true and loyal to the people around you. Um, especially value your friendships and the people who are there for you. Some of you may be moving back home with your mama or doing something like that. In the meantime, until you can get back on your feet, you could also be in a position to help someone else who's getting back on their feet. Somebody needs to get back on their feet. You had the temperance. You had Archangel Gabriel telling you um, to be hopeful and creative, okay? So I do feel like things are coming into balance for you. I feel like either someone's going to start to open up to you, their whole heart, who's been half-hearted to you, or you're moving on beyond this person and meeting someone who's giving you everything. But I do feel like they might be shorter than you. I don't know if that's a deal breaker, but that's what I'm seeing. All right, y'all. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you all next time. Peace.